In this video, we will solve some examples based on variational principle. Before going to solve the examples, we shall define a term geodesic. Geodesic is defined as a curve. Geodesic is defined as a curve of stationary length or extremum length geodesic is nothing but the curve of a stationary length or extremum length between any two points Alternatively, it is also defined as a curve of unchanging direction. Curve of unchanging direction. Now, we shall go to examples. Example 1 show that the geodesic that is nothing but the shortest distance between two points in a Euclidean space is a straight line. We have to show that geodesic in a Euclidean space is a straight line. That means we have to prove that the shortest distance between any two points in a Euclidean space is a straight line. For that purpose, we shall take two points. Let Px1, Y1 and Q x2, y2 be two fixed points in a Euclidean space. Euclidean plane. Let y equal to fx be a curve between P and Q. Then the element of the distance between two neighboring points then the element of a distance between two neighboring points on the curve y equal to fx Joining P and Q is given by an Euclidean metric.
ds square equal to dx square plus dy square. Hence the total distance between the points P and Q is P and Q along the curve is given by I equal to integration of ds from P to Q. It is nothing but equal to integration from x1 to x2 of 1 plus y dash square raised to half dx where y dash is nothing but dy by dx. This is equation second. ds is nothing but f dx and f is given by 1 plus y dash bracket square raised to half. Hence, the functional i is extimum the functional i is extimum if the integral f equal to 1 plus y dash square raised to half must satisfy the Euler Lagrange differential equation. That is dou f by dou y minus d by dx of dou f by dou y dash equal to 0. This is the Euler Lagrange equation. From equation 3, we have dou f by dou y equal to 0 because f doesn't contain the term of y and hence it is a constant with respect to y and dou f by dou y dash equal to y dash upon root of 1 plus y dash square. This implies that d by dx of dou f by dou y dash equal to d by dx of y dash upon root of 1 plus y dash square this is equal to 0. Integrating this we get y dash upon root of 1 plus y dash square equal to c. If we square, we will get y dash square divided by 1 plus y dash square equal to c square. That is nothing but y dash square equal to c square plus c square y dash square. If I transfer this term of y dash to left hand side, I will get y dash square minus c square y dash square equal to c square. 
and hence taking y dash common y dash square into 1 minus c square equal to c square and therefore y dash square equal to c square upon 1 minus c square and hence y dash equal to c upon root of 1 minus c square and hence hence we can obtain y dash equal to c1 where c1 equal to c divided by root of 1 minus c square and if we integrate this equation we will get integration of y dash dx equal to c1 dx that is nothing but y equal to c1x plus c2 which is nothing but the straight line Hence, the shortest distance between two points is a straight line in the plane. Shortage distance between two points in the plane or Euclidean plane is a straight line. Now we will see example 2. We will solve second example on the geodesic. Show that the geodesic theta equal to theta r. Theta equal to theta of r. In a polar coordinate is a straight line. Here yeah, we have to prove that the geodesic theta equal to theta r in the polar plane is short is a straight line. We shall define a curve in two dimensional polar plane. as a functional relation between the two coordinates r and theta if a x y and b x plus dx y plus dy are Cartesian coordinates of points on the curve. Then the element of the distance between A and B is 
is given by ds square equal to dx square plus dy square. Let theta equal to theta r be the polar equation of the curve. Theta equal to theta of r be a polar equation of the curve and p r1 theta 1 and q r2 theta 2 be two polar points on it. Then the relations x is nothing but r cos theta and y is nothing but r sin theta. And therefore, if we put these values in x equation 1, equation 1 reduces to ds square equal to dr square plus r square d theta square equation second. Then the total distance between the points P and Q becomes I equal to integration from R1 to R2 of 1 plus r square theta dash square raised to half dr where theta dash square is nothing but d theta by dr the functional i is a short test If the integrand f equal to 1 plus r square theta dash square raised to half satisfy Euler Lagrange equation. That is dou f by dou theta minus d by dr of dou f by dou theta dash equal to 0. Now dou f by dou theta dash dou f by dou uh, theta dash equal to dou f by do theta equal to plus 0 do f by do theta equal to 0 and do f by do theta dash equal to r square theta dash divided by root of 1 plus r square theta dash square if we differentiate this with respect to r, d by dr of dou f by dou theta dash equal to d by dr of r square theta dash divided by root of 1 plus r square theta dash square equal to 0. This implies that 
r square theta dash equal to some constant h into root of 1 plus r square theta dash square. 